we made it. We are finally over halfway through AS level. Keep up the good work. I know it's a lot of information, but hopefully you're continuing to review using your Cambridge syllabus to kind of figure out where your learning goals are at. Remember, after AS level is finished, that means that's going to be what you should go back and review for papers one and two. That will be super cool. Today, here we go, topic number four. Topic number four is all about classification and biodiversity. Lots of diagrams come from chapter four. So I cannot stress the importance of knowing where certain structures are on organisms. So let's first talk about classification. Classification, you're going to remember King Henry came over for great soup. So we use soup because it's easy to spell, but we also have to remember it in a fun way. So when we do see something like this on our test at the end of the year, you are going to remember kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. So what does that mean? Why do we need to know that? Well, kingdom is going to be the most broad. It's going to include everything underneath of it. Species, very specific. What do we need to know about this? We need to know if we're given a table that kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species, that is the order we always follow. Now, what would come before kingdom? Maybe domain. Sometimes they'll throw that on there. So it would go domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. And that would just change our mnemonic to did King Henry or does King Henry come over for great soup? So King Henry came over for great soup, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Now, what does the genus and species tell us? Well, it is the binomial name of organism. So it's the scientific name of organism. So if you're asked to name an organism, you don't need to memorize any names. Please don't start Googling all the names of the organisms in the ocean. Instead, just pay attention to what you read on a test. Typically, if they ask you the genus and the species, well, it's probably somewhere in the question that they're asking you. Now, the genus always capitalized, species always lowercase. So binomial nomenclature, the genus always capitalized, the species always lowercase. For example, here is a question that was used on a previous year's test. No, you will not see this exact one, but notice on the left-hand side, we have our group, domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. And on the right, notice what I highlighted. We said the genus and the species was in the question that Cambridge is giving you. So there's no guesswork here. All you do is copy and paste it exactly as they have written it. Don't change anything. They capitalize the C for the genus. You capitalize the C for the genus. They lowercase the M for the species. You should also lowercase the M for the species. Dichotomous keys, super fun, super easy. It's like figuring out a mystery puzzle. You're trying to find what the organism is. If you were to look at a dichotomous key, you are looking at paired features that are contrasting. So if you look at step one on the left-hand side of your screen, if the fish shape is long and skinny, go to step two. B, if the fish shape is not long and skinny, go to step three. So if you were to look at, let's say, mm, number nine. Number nine is long and skinny. So what are you going to do? You're going to go to step two. That's going to finally lead you to the name of the organism. So you will continue on. If you look at step two, it says, if the fish has pointed fins, it's a trumpet fish. If the fish has smooth fins, it's a spotted Monterey eel or Murray eel. Sorry. So now if you look at number nine, it's a little hard to tell from this picture, but you would be able to figure out the name of the organism based on your dichotomous key. Very easy. It's a little bit fun. And that is all I have for you today. So make sure that you review your domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Make sure you know that the binomial name comes from the capitalized genus, the lowercase species. 
and look up some fun dichotomous keys to help you review on a dichotomous key. Again, they can be fun. It's a little more interactive in chapter four. All right, everybody, see you for the second part or the next part of chapter four.